All right, welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Rex. I'm Daniel, and for the first time, I'm, I tell some personal stories that could get me in hot water with people from my past. Here's the thing, I've known- But I haven't spoken to them in 15 years. I've known Daniel since uh, we were both toddlers. <laughs> we acted like toddlers, that was only last oh, week. Oh, <laughs> And I just now learned his middle name, so this is yeah. A revelatory episode. Ironically, my middle name is Daniel. Welcome uh, to day, uh, hey, another day of people. me drinking whiskey. I want to drink. Welcome. Um, so here, wait, wait, wait. Here's why. Wait, hold on. As opposed to all the stuff people send us. Wait. Is that what we're saying here? Wait. Are we in a Daniel week? No. No. Why would you even say that? That's ridiculous, Rex. I don't know what you're talking about. No, Be what? Because. Here's what happened. You know what that implies. No, 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 this is not Daniel Week. What did we do yesterday? A Daniel We did a Magnificent Bastard. You chose a beer thing. No, that was sent in you by chose, a Magnificent Bastard. You master. love beer whiskey. I love beer whiskey. You chose a beer whiskey. <laughs> this is so wrong. <laughs> Give me the whiskey. How many? All right, so here's the thing. People keep sending in more and more and more weird stuff. And then we review it, and one, no one searches for that <laughs> And two, no one can buy it if we tell them it's amazing. So this is, Macar this is McCarthy's Oregon Single Malt. Started in, uh, the distillery itself started in 1985 by Steve McCarthy. Oh. This is, uh, what, 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 what country? This is peated malt. This is from Port Scotland, three Portland, years old. Portland, Oregon. Yeah. Okay. Man, this, uh, this is peaty. Peaty and almost like a hickory. Mm-hmm. Peaty and hickory. Interesting combination. Love the smell. Yeah. I think this is Scottish barley. Like, I think they're actually getting this, um, I'm betting they're getting this from either Baird's, uh, or it could be Golden Harvest. Man, I really hope I like the taste on this, because the nose is exceptional. Damn. I, this has won a ton of awards, and I remember oh, really, really loving so it the last time I drank it. I, it shouldn't, but that always makes me uh, feel better whenever I go into something completely fresh and then it turns out, you oh like yeah, it. it's totally winning awards. Man, I know opinion subjective, but it's always nice to have your opinion validated. Uh, okay. Because so, I'm that insecure. This is batch W14-01, bottled on September 8th, 2014, mm -hmm. for those of you who needed that information. Now, here's the funny thing about Steve uh, McCarthy, he started the distillery. Yeah. Every time he did something interesting, it was because his day was going horribly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or things were going badly. <laughs> I like this guy. So he's got a family farm and orchard, apples and pears and things. Mm -hmm. And then he hits a time when all of a sudden everything's going badly, right? It's and no, all the prices are dropping. Farmers are going out of business. They started in the 70s. He's on a trip and he decides, you know what? In Europe, people make brandy using all of the things that we grow on our farm. And so he goes back. He's like, "Screw fruit. That's a we're very, making brand. That's, we're making alcohol. <laughs> that's a very entrepreneurial thought." Yeah, we're making brandies and liqueurs. Yeah. Everyone else is going to try to figure out how to make it, selling their apples somewhere else and their pears somewhere else, and mm -hmm. their we we're going to make alcohol with all of our fruit. Mm -hmm. And that's when it started, right? Yeah. So that goes and it goes well. They win awards. They're going right along making just, brandies. Just a and quick drink. side note: you'll finish before the shoot. Daniel said, "Here's my story." Yeah, that's a lot of text. I, I wrote it all out. And then he said, don't worry, I'm not going to read it all. I'm not. How I much? already synopsed two paragraphs. So we're halfway through. We're more than halfway through. Okay. And then it's in the 90s, and he goes on a fishing trip in Ireland, and the fishing is going terrible. <laughs> and so he decides, screw this, I'm going to a local bar, and I'm going to try every whiskey in the bar. <laughs> I like this guy. Yeah. <laughs> and so he does and discovers that he loves peated whiskey. Yeah. And so he reaches out to some local brewer friends and says, can you guys brew me a special order of peated barley that I can distill? And that is the origin of McCarthy's single malt pot stilled whiskey. So this is like an American Isla right now. Yeah, it smells like that. I haven't tasted it I yet. I tasted it. And on the smell, it's a seamless transition from smell to taste. Well, you're wow, you're not wrong. Yeah. But it's got the sparkle. It's got none of the sour notes of all the other times we get no. those green notes and whiskey. I, I Wow, that's good. It's good. I said the word hickory. And then the 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 thought, damn. Ah, uh, chicory? 
Chicory, yeah, like the coffee and the root. Yeah. So hickory and chicory. Hickory, chicory. Don't ah. just just it's low. It's too low hanging. It was low hanging. It, fruit. The fruit's dragging on the floor. Hickory, it been dick, hickory, chicory malt. It would have just. We would have been so classy. If we we could have named this Whoa. hickory chicory. Mother. <laughs> you had to. You had to. God, <laughs> just man. No, carry on, please. What did you have to say? So I get all of the barbecue notes in the nose, but I also get the kind of light, slight sweetness to it. Hickory. And then, man. And then in the taste, some other things show up, but it's still mostly a young peated scotch. Now, don't take young for immature. It's not immature. No, it's this taste. It's vibrant. Full profile. Mast. Man, no wonder. Mast is the word. Well done. Full mast. Uh, three years old. It means erection. Which is a legal age for scotch. <laughs> just, I'm just totally ignoring it. Hey, so I, if you want to hear a personal story that I maybe shouldn't show on camera because the person who I'll tell it about may actually be able to YouTube this and see a story about themselves. I will be the deciding factor. <laughs> At this point, there may be a cut where we jump far ahead yeah. or I may deem that there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> I'm gonna tell a really personal story. About? <laughs> and it's really funny. About? About the time when I realized that my fiance and I were not gonna work out. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so it's not the cougar. And dish. it involves this location that is pictured on this bottle. So it's not cougar. It's not cougar. <laughs> <laughs> Which is an down. amazing No, 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 story. it is a great story. It's too so, soon, it's too soon. So Someday, the, down, well, years from now, we will talk about the legend of cougar. I'm not gonna give a name. Mm. I'm not gonna name any names. Oh. <laughs> so the picture on the beginning of, on the front of this bottle yeah. is Multnomah Falls, okay. which is just south of Portland. Yeah. Beautiful waterfall. Gift shop. I actually went there for the first time in uh, eighth grade. I get engaged uh, to someone who lives in the vicinity of Multnomah Falls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, How many times were you engaged before you got married? Yeah, only once. Okay, so here's the thing. I go with my fiance to Multnomah Falls. The, the path to Multnomah Falls is this nice little path to get you to a bridge that crosses over the waterfall. Yeah. And then you go to a switchback trail that takes you all the way to the top and it's way up there. And it's a, such a narrow trail that at every level of the trail, you look down over, your, over the edge at the trails below you. Like, and when you're on one, you look down, you can just see all the switchbacks. And if you fall, you're just going to go straight down the switchbacks, like 300, 400 feet. Did you murder your fiance? No, but the story is not that far off from this. <laughs> so, Did you emotionally murder no, your no, fiance? No, 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 no. We were not doing well. We weren't talking that. We were arguing about something. We're walking up, and she's in front of me, and she trips on this harrowing trail right. and grabs a tree branch. And I grab her, and then uh, she says, what would you do if I fell? Like off the cliff. Right. So I, and I, I'd get a new girlfriend. I said, <laughs> I walked over to the side and I looked over, right. and I said, damn, she's got the car keys. <laughs> <laughs> That's brutal. And the story is not over. That's brutal. It gets better. Now, she would have been the one if she laughed her head off. No, no, she got really upset. We were just too young, man. We were too damn young. Anyway, yeah. so we're still arguing. She's not talking to me anymore. Right. We're walking back down. And on the way down, we're coming down a trail, and there's a family, a couple kids, mom, dad, coming up this way. So we move to the side as we're walking down, because you always move out of the way of the people coming up, right? Yeah. We move to the side, and she trips again and catches a tree branch. And I keep my mouth shut, because I didn't work out well the last time. <laughs> didn't go over well. And we're standing there, and as the family walks by, the dad turns to me and says, I hope you have the car keys. <laughs> <laughs> I am not joking. <laughs> I could not have planned that. I mean, come on. That's a good start. <laughs> That's a good start. We do need to compare. Is there another hickory? Probably one? scotch. Oh, oh, oh! Rimfire is mesquite smoke. Oh, wait, that's that's not hickory though. Uh, mesquite. Right. It's different. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, it's another wood, not peat, right? Okay. And it's one that we know we like. Sure. Where is rimfire? Is the question. Well, it's uh, there's the Ranger Creek Rye up here. No. Oh, here it is. 
Rimfire. Ranger Creek Rimfire. Um, now, this is... You didn't let me tell my story. In my top five uh, Texas whiskeys. The Ranger Creek Rimfire. Ooh. This one's uh, more woody. I no, I'm not finding the the, the comparison here. This, Taste it. No, they're very different, but they're in the same category of American whiskey. Damn that a rim, smoky malt. That rim fire though. Mm -hmm. All right, so both like well, this is not the Ranger Creek. This thing, uh, this is not entry level, sweet, friendly, trying to be your friend. It, it's you know, it's uh, the hickory, the smoke note is robust, so you got to be prepared for that. Mm -hmm. And I say hickory, it may not be anything hickory at all, but to me, it strikes me as a hickory note. I think it's the peatiness and then some of the things they're doing in American distilling that, that comes across as hickory, kind of like a chicory, hickory type mm -hmm. of deal. But yeah, it's a damn good whiskey. I like it a lot. Ah, that McCarthy's is kick-ass. Yeah. All right, here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. You fight, may you fight for a If friend. you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. If you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, drop a question or comment down below.